doing great. Actually, I have not. Yeah, I missed about three days. And I'm sorry. And I'm sorry for missing about three days. I've been trying to, you know, I'm finna get back on my post and stuff. I posted yesterday for you guys. So, I'm gonna be posting every single day for you guys too. gonna do as you can tell from that title and as you can tell for that thumbnail it's gonna get real juicy up in here because it's been real juicy on the internet lately hmm so y'all know that monty put out a video on youtube i did not watch the video but a lot of you guys been commenting under and like literally i tapped i got his post notification mad late first of all youtube fix his fix his account because i i didn't get it on time so I got his post notification and I tapped on the video, but I did not watch the video fully through. I just saw a Q and A and I seen the um, caption and I scrolled all the way at the bottom. Everybody's just talking about I wonder how Katie feels about this. I wonder this and wonder that. So today I'm gonna watch the video with you guys because I did not watch it fully through, and um, I'm just gonna just tell y'all how I feel about the situation if that makes sense. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And and yeah, so if y'all did not know my ponytail, my my bun looks mad little. If it people were y'all asking like, what the heck happened to Katie's bun? Y'all, I cut my hair. I'm gonna be growing my hair back. My hair is literally like this, like this short, like short, short. This is like, probably the shortest I've ever cut my hair. But I cut my hair and I'm gonna be growing it out naturally. You know, adding no dye. If anything, if I add dye, I think black will be the last color I add to let it grow out like fully natural and beautiful. So, um, but I'm not really thinking about dyeing it black right now. I'm just wanting to let my hair fade out. But I want to get my hair back natural and healthy. So I bought my hair supplies and I'm ordering stuff. I just want to go back to the natural KD and, you know, stop on ironing my hair. If I want to get my hair flat, probably just get a sew in and all that. So we're going to watch this video. Um, let's go to his page. Screen record. Over here, give me y'all a rundown about my hair. And y'all didn't tap on this video to know about my hair. Y'all tapped on this video to know about how I feel. And I'm going to tell y'all how I feel. Period. So. Let me turn it up for you guys. Screen record. Curly head. Monty. <laughs> Okay, my heart is dropping. Okay, let's just get to let's get let's get to the video. Let's get straight into this thing. Make sure I hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell, and if you come on, let's get to this video. Get to the, oh, get to the tea. What's going? Basically, Katie lost the dogs outside at the B and B spot, right? Okay, so we are gonna talk about that real quick before we get talk about anything else. Y'all, I didn't deliberately mean to lose the dogs. Literally. I was outside and Lola said and Button said. So I had to try to run and when I was running I fell and I looked up and I couldn't find them. And I was crying and they was all the way gone down in the woods, y'all. I was gonna lose them and I was gonna be dead too because oh my god. I was y'all, don't even don't don't. So let me just get let me just go to the part where um everybody was talking about it. What was the time? Let me just go around. Oh, okay. I, I see her name. All right, let's go right here. Okay. Every have sit down with your. Stuff I talk to me, they always ask this question. So, be finished. Be finished. Be finished. Give it to you. Would you ever have? 
dramatic with everything like Those little green screen little things. Alright, so I had to get her, I had to get the number, obviously. So let me just show y'all that because I don't want y'all to think that I'm Joseph because this is this is dad, this is dad. But, so. taking the next step into being a grown young man because not a lot of people can sit down with their exes even after the situation that they ever had because I have read messages between them and I do know the reason of them breaking up so I feel like he is grown and I feel like she's grown and I feel like and I feel like and I feel like <laughs> I keep saying I feel like um I just feel like they're really mature for even sitting down I think it's, it's been five years or six or something. I don't I don't know when they started dating. But I think that they're really grown for sitting down and having a conversation that they really needed to have. Other than, like, going on with life and having, like, hatred between exes and stuff. And my personal opinion is I feel like they should have their sit down without me. Because the situation doesn't have nothing to do with me. But I do want to meet her. And I do have questions for myself as being a girlfriend and reading messages and the whole situation. I do have questions as my as a girlfriend to ask her, like, you know. So, um, Kamara, if you're watching this, I do want to have my own sit down with you to see. Like, I really want to know. Ooh. Mature about the situation. We're not kids at the end of the day. We are not kids. We're not kids. We're not going to be arguing over, like, it was, y'all, if y'all think that Katie's like, oh, and I'm mad, and I'm not mad, I'm, I'm so proud of my boyfriend, and I'm so proud of her from coming to an understanding to actually get over this, and I'm just not no hater-ass bitch, but, um, I never had a problem with her, she's, she's one of the exes I never had a problem with, but two exes that do not fuck with you, and because y'all came for me. And if y'all got a problem, you know. <laughs> but other than that, I'm so I'm honestly like so like I, I want to see like I want to know what they have to say. I me I'm like on the background. I'm like 
I want to know what they have to say. I'm just so proud of my boyfriend. And he's becoming a young, great young man. And, yeah. So for everybody that was like, I'm so, I'm, I wonder what Katie's going to have to say. <laughs> what I have to say is I'm so proud. And five years later, it's not, it's not holding grudge on for the rest of your life. Who wants to hold a grudge on for the rest of their life? Nobody. But this is the end of the video. Watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ooh, I'm ready to I'm ready to see this sit down. If y'all not ready, I'm most definitely ready. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. We is out. For yourself.